in this video let me check whether the given signals are periodic or not determine whether each of the following signals are periodic or not if periodic find the fundamental period here five different signals are given we supposed to calculate we supposed to verify whether these signals are periodic or not if periodic we supposed to find fundamental period let me take the first example that is x of n is equal to sin 3n we know that any discrete signal x of n is represented in a standard form as a cos omega not n plus phi where phi indicates the phase shift if we compare this expression with this we can say that omega not is equal to 3 a discrete signal is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition omega not is equal to 2 pi into m by n that is so here omega not that is 3 cannot be expressed in terms of 2 pi into m by n therefore the signal x of n is not periodic or a periodic signal omega not is equal to 3 is not equal to 2 pi into m by n therefore signal is not periodic now let me consider the second example we have second example is x of n is equal to we have cos 0 0.3 pi n plus pi by 4 so here if we compare this expression with standard expression that is this one we have omega naught is equal to 0 0.3 pi where pi by 4 is phase shift we will ignore that phase shift so here i can say omega naught is equal to 0 0.3 pi into n so we supposed to express omega naught in terms of 2 pi into rational number that is m by n so i can represent this 0 0.3 pi n as omega naught is equal to so 0 0.3 sorry this is 0 0.3 pi i can represent it as t 3 by 10 into pi or i can represent this as 2 pi into 3 by 2 into 10 so which is same as 3 pi by 10 or i can represent it as omega naught is equal to 2 pi into 3 by 20 therefore we can able to express 0 0.3 pi as 2 pi into 3 by 20 therefore the signal is periodic therefore signal is periodic and fundamental period is here n is known as fundamental period so comparing this expression with this so here n is 20 fundamental period is n is equal to 20 now let me take the third example we have x of n is equal to sin 7 pi by 37 n so here if you compare with the standard signal we can say that omega naught is equal to 7 pi by 37 so we supposed to express this omega naught in terms of omega naught is equal to 2 pi into m by n form if we are able to express in this form we can say that signal is periodic so i can represent it as omega naught is equal to this signal can be so i can represent this as 2 pi into 7 by 37 into 2 that is if we cancel this 2 and 2 we will get the same thing that is 7 pi by 37 so omega naught is equal to 2 pi into 7 by 
74 so therefore signal is periodic and fundamental period is that is fundamental period n is equal to that is 74 if you compare with this expression n is equal to 74 now let me take the fourth example i'll take here that is x of n is equal to e power j pi by 2 n so here it is of form e power j omega naught n so here omega naught is equal to pi by 2 now we'll try to express this omega naught in standard form that is omega naught is equal to 2 pi into m by n form so expressing this pi by 2 in terms of this as omega naught is equal to here already we have pi here we have pi that is pi into 2 i will multiply this with 2 so in denominator i will multiply the term by 2 that is 1 by 4 so if we take 2 pi by 4 we will get the same thing that is pi by 2 so this is a form 2 pi into m by n so here this is n therefore this signal is periodic with fundamental frequency with fundamental period n is equal to 4 so let me consider the fifth example that is x of n is equal to sin 2 pi by 3 n plus cos 2 pi by 5 n so here we can see that x of n consists of two signals so this is called composite signal it is made of two different signals so here let me write omega 1 is equal to here it is of form sin omega n so omega 1 is 2 pi by 3 and here with respect to this i will take it as omega 2 which is equal to 2 pi by 5 now let me express omega 1 in terms of rational multiple of 2 pi that is omega 1 is equal to 2 pi into m by n that is i can represent it as omega 1 is equal to 2 pi into 1 by 3 1 by 3 so here i can say n1 is equal to this is n1 is equal to 3 similarly here i can say omega 2 is equal to 2 pi into m by n2 or i can write omega 2 is equal to 2 pi into 1 by 5 therefore n2 is equal to 5 so if we take the ratio of 3 and 5 so in composite signal we supposed to perform n1 by n2 which is equal to 3 by 5 so here 3 by 5 is a rational number therefore signal is signal x of n is periodic signal So here fundamental period is obtained by taking LCM of N1 and N2 that is LCM of N1 and N2 that is 3 and 5 is 15. So fundamental period is is equal to 15 thank you for watching